Hello dear friends, welcome back to your favorite channel. Please, I'd like you to quickly subscribe to this channel. If you have not subscribed, hit the bell icon so you can also get notification whenever we post new story. All right, thank you. The insecurity situation in Imo State is getting high and it's getting serious, serious um, tension as it were. There's serious tension and panic in Imo State. The need for a better security and safety to lives and property in Imo State cannot be overemphasized. It received a major boost recently following the inauguration of the Imo State Community Policing Advisory Committee by Senator Hope Uzadema in Oweri. Promising to give the committee all the necessary assistance that will enable them to succeed, Uzadema stressed us. The committee is not an alternative to Nigerian security agencies like the police or the army. Rather, the outfit will partner with them to ensure that our communities are properly secured, hence making their security job seamless and easy. Explaining that the community policing program is a brainchild of the federal government of Nigeria, Uzadema explained the purpose for the program. He said, the federal government through the presidency has approved the formation and inauguration of similar formations all over the country. The sole aim is to ensure peaceful coexistence of indigents and non-indigents, ethnic groups and tribes in our communities all over the federation. Senator Uzadema therefore charged the security agencies and the committee members to do a good job of providing safety and security to lives and property in the state. He said, the committee is to work to ensure that we live together in love and in peace and to smoke out all criminals, reduce acrimonies among Nigerians in our domain and ensure peaceful coexistence. They should work hard to identify all social vices and deal with them according to the law. The members of the committee must ensure that they work hard to fish out criminals in Imo communities and villages. We urge the Commissioner of Police, Imo State, to work out modalities towards the creation of the zonal, local government and community prototype of the committee. Unarguably, everything is right with the constituting of the Community Police Policing Advisory Committee. I'm an advocate of safety and security first. I subscribe to the school of thought which holds that security is everybody's business. Hence, whatever needs to be done to guarantee safety and security of lives and property in the society must be supported by every normal citizen. However, I'm not quite satisfied that there are all sorts of policing in Imo State. Yet, there's an upward rising curve in the rate of crimes in the state. In addition to the regular security agencies, police, army, navy, air force, and civil defense and the current operation search and flush there are also emo security network emo community watch emo security guard not to leave out various village autonomous community local government based vigilante groups and private security by emo citizens it's a highly ironical case of abundant security amidst abundant insecurity this fear. Honestly, the increase in crime and vices in Imo State in the recent times, amid all of the aforementioned policing, have created room for doubts about the sincerity of intent of the current regime to provide sustainable security programs and projects. We are still watching and checking. 
Sincerely, incidences of violent crimes have risen in magnitude since the turn of 2020. Kidnappings, armed robberies, baby trading, murder, assault, and battery. Fatal communal clashes and both alleged and established attacks by non-indigene headsmen, such anti safety and anti-security activities have sadly become a negative part of the social life of Imo State. Instructively, in the terms of reference for the community policing, the federal government said, the sole aim is to ensure peaceful coexistence of indigents and non-indigents. Ethnic groups and tribes in our communities all over the Federation. However, the stories from Ezenehite, NBC, Oguta, local government areas, and indeed all the 27 local government areas of Imo State, mock the preaching of peaceful coexistence, where non-indigene headsmen from other ethnic groups engage their hosts and indigents, as in Mbise and Oguta local government areas in several physical squabbles, leading to attacks and counter-attacks or counterparts by the headsmen and their hosts. The attacks at Agua recently in Oguta local government area cost at least one life. It wasn't the first of such fallouts and attacks by the non-indigene headsmen from other ethnic groups in parts of the states. The Honorable Member representing Oguta, state, Oguta constituency in the Imo State House of Assembly, Barrister Frank Uboma, confirmed the killing of his constituent in Agua Oguta by the headsmen, while the police too confirmed the incident. The attacks in Oguta local government area was worse than those in MBC because while in Ezenite, MBC cows were alleged to have been rustled, for which the current regime allegedly paid 8 million naira, the attacks in Oguta local government area claimed the life of an innocent, harmless bread winner. Ndibo say, if in the chase after a cow, a person is trampled to death, the people penned talks about the cow and talk about the dead person. The killing of anybody by anybody else is a crime punishable by law. It must be avoided and prevented by all at all times, at all places. Trouble is when it has to do with the noxious attacks and killing by the non ubiquitous headsmen in Imo State. The law seems to be waved off and kept aside, as if the headsmen are above the law. It's sad and bad that in Nigeria some citizens are above the law. Yet, such attacks need to be prevented and must be prevented if not by regular policing, then by community policing. That's another reason why the inauguration of the Community Policing Advisory Council is quite timely. Obviously, the level of security, the level of social vices and crimes is understandably just too high for the regular police and adjunct security agencies to successfully contain and contain alone. The Community Policing Committee should therefore abide by the charge for them to augment the work of the regular police policing. The conflicts and clashes between indigents of Imo State and non indigent headsmen from other ethnic groups should be focused on by all the policing arrangements, police and community, etc. A visitor mustn't cause the death of his host, so, so that when it is time for him to depart from his host, he won't suffer hunchback. On the other hand, indigents must know how to receive and relate with non indigents so that there won't be unnecessary conflicts and clashes along the lines that lead to all sorts of loss of lives and property. The admonition, be your brother's keeper, should be for everybody, indigents and non-indigents and people from other ethnic groups alike. Let everyone that knows 
acts and actions capable of quarrel, causing quarrels endeavor to avoid it. Let's be proactive and nip trouble in the board. On the whole, I join well-meaning Imolites to welcome the community policing program, hoping that the taste of the bitter cola will be like the sweet sound. And also hoping that it won't turn to opposition policing. All right, guys, what are your thoughts concerning this particular news story? Is it a welcome idea? Do you think that uh, this uh, actually effort will be will be channeled into the appropriate quarters and will yield the desired results? Well, it is what it is. Let's put our hands together. Let's cross, uh, uh, fold our hands together and uh, see how things unfold. And let's just keep our fingers crossed and see how things will definitely turn out on this particular issue. With this um, inauguration, so to speak, one would expect that um, the level of insecurity in Imo State will be nipped into the board and there will be positive results that would um, help reduce the spate of killings and attacks in Imo State. Well, it's what it is. Kindly drop by the comment section to leave your thoughts. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Please hit the bell icon so you can get notification whenever we post new stories. Thank you so much, guys. I appreciate your support, and I'll see you on the other news. Thank you, and bye for now.